Toyota announced today it's extending its shutdown for another week and is now aiming to reopen May 11th. The company shut down its North American plants on March 23rd due to safety concerns. The Georgetown plant was planning to restart production Monday, but they've decided to postpone that until the 11th due to issues with the company's suppliers. Toyota says they will continue to follow federal, state, and local health guidelines. Several doctors across the country have noted an alarming trend related to COVID-19 patients. Evening Edition's Michael Burke spoke with a vascular neurologist at UK Hospital about another way the coronavirus could be dangerous. The trend doctors are seeing is an increase in the number of stroke victims they're treating, and most of those were asymptomatic and didn't have any of the underlying conditions that are normally associated with stroke victims. Healthy young men with little to no coronavirus symptoms showing up inside America's emergency rooms after having suffered a stroke. But is there a correlation to the coronavirus? It certainly is plausible because of what we're learning about how COVID-19 can affect both the blood coagulation system and the blood vessels. Dr. Goldstein said COVID-19 can affect the heart for some and the blood clotting system for others. And you needn't be of a certain age. Anybody from babies into folks in their very elderly years. But Dr. Goldstein warns against what you might think is preventative self-medicating. We do have data uh, that clearly shows that in people who are at low risk of stroke, that the risk of taking aspirin outweighs the benefit. The only true benefit is catching it early. We can reverse the effects of a stroke, even a major stroke, but people have to get to us in time. So again, you could be asymptomatic with coronavirus and otherwise very healthy, but still have a stroke. So if you experience any facial paralysis, severe headaches, numbness in the arms and legs, or trouble speaking, you need to seek immediate attention. In Lexington, Michael Burke for Evening Edition.